The WFMT announcer's lot is not a happy one. In addition to uttering the sibilant, malefalous cadences of such cacophonous sounds as Hans Schmidt Eicherstedt, Karl Schulfig, Nikonor Zabaleta, Hans Nappetsbusch, and the Hammerklavier Sonata, he must thread his vocal way through the complications of La Orchestre de la Suisse Romande, the Concerto Bell Orchestra of Amsterdam, the Leipzig Gewandhaus Orchestra, and other complicated nomenclature. However, it must by no means be assumed that the ability to pronounce La Orchestre de la Société des Concerts du Conservatoire de Paris with fluidity and verb outweighs in ease, naturalness, and friendliness of delivery when at the omnipresent microphone. For example, when delivering a diatribe containing Claudio Munzio, Bianmino Gigli, Hetti, Pumacher, Gintinto Prandelli, Hilda Russo Maldon, and Lina Pagliucli, five out of six is good enough if the sixth one is mispronounced plausibly. Jessica Gragnonet and Margaret Truman are taken for granted. Poets, although not such a constant annoyance as polysyllabically named singers, creep in now and then. Of course, Dylan Thomas and W.B. Yeats are no great worry. Composers occur almost incessantly, and they range all the way from Albans, Alfin, and Eurich, the Wolf, Ferrari, and Zeisel. Let us reiterate that a warm, simple tone of voice is desirable. Even when introducing the Bach cantata, Ich habe viel Bachumerinis, or Monte Verdi's opera, La Incarnazione di Papea. Such, then, is the warp and wolf of an announcer's existence in diesen Halgen Holland.